And sickness we've got to get back on a routine I like routine I like schedule I like order and it has been out of whack so for me and my family we usually what I tend to do is I meal plan a week at a time I plan out the meals that we're gonna cook and the groceries that we'll need to buy to prepare those meals and I try to do it that way intentionally because I found that one, you save money, you don't buy a lot of extra stuff that you don't need or won't use. Two, it saves time, you're not going around to the store multiple times throughout the week. And it also eliminates a lot of stress because you already have a plan of what you're going to cook. And if you plan ahead, you can know that if you have a busy day, we're gonna do a crock pot meal. If we've got um, activities in the evening we're gonna do something quick and it kind of makes it less stressful throughout your week so I'm gonna show you how I do that today so here we go okay so when you're setting out to meal plan here's a couple of tips and things that you can do first off one of the things that I like to do is to look and see what I have in the fridge and the pantry um, I've gotten really good at just buying what I need so this for me doesn't always apply anymore, but this week it does because we bought randomly. But looking in the fridge, seeing what you have, and making meals around that. That will help you to save money and also use up things before they expire. Another thing you can do is, I am not very good at this one, but my grandma is a pro, is start by looking in your ads for your local grocery stores, seeing what is on sale. A lot of grocery stores will price match, so if you find something at one that's cheaper that you don't shop at, you can price match it at the store where you shop. So that's another way to save money and buy um, when there's a sale and in season and make your menu around this. I keep a bullet journal, you guys have heard me talk about it before, but I create a weekly spread where I write out the days of the week, I write down the activities, the things we have going on, and then at the bottom I put in the meal for that week and I just write them in. So what I do at this point is after looking at the pantry, the sales, you know, write down some meals that correspond with that, pick days of the week that they would be easiest to cook. I don't put complicated meals on days that are full of lots of activity. Try to think about that ahead of time. Um, and then if you don't have a lot of ideas of what to cook, one thing that I recommend is I do Google and Pinterest a lot of things. You have to be careful with Pinterest. Not all recipes on there are the greatest. But if you tend to cook often, you can kind of look at the ingredients and tell whether it's gonna be a good one or not. Another thing is, one thing I did is I made a list in my bullet journal of meals, regular meals, and I tried to add to it meals as I come up with new things. So if I ever am not sure what to cook, I can go back and look at that list. Another great place to find recipes is right here on my channel. I will link some uh, recipes here. I also have a recipe playlist you can go check out and I will be adding to it. Another thing I like to um, recommend is this cookbook. If you're uh, new to cooking, old to cooking, whatever, this is like your classic Better Homes and Garden cookbook. It has so many just basic tips about uh, measurements, cutting, um, all of your core recipes. So like this is my go-to when I need to know just some basic core stuff. It also has some really good recipes in here too. 
after you create your list of meals that you want to cook for the week, then be sure and go and list out the ingredients that you'll need and try to try to go slow with that and think through everything so you don't have to run to the store throughout the week, but really think about, am I gonna need milk, am I gonna need eggs, am I gonna need sour cream, you know, things like that. And try to write everything down so that when you get to the store, you make sure you leave with everything that you need. So the final thing that I will do after planning out the meals is I will actually put them up on a board in my home this has not been updated in like three weeks, so I need to update it. It is, it wasn't very updated <laughs> the last time. So I'll put it up there so that everyone in the household kind of knows what to expect for meals. My little guy right now can't read, but I imagine in the future, those teen years of, what are we having for dinner? What's for dinner, mom? What's for, go look at the sign. I foresee that coming. <laughs> So that's what I do and then I go to the store and shop and buy everything and good to go. Alright guys, that's it for today. Some tips for meal planning. I'm Crystal Kime. Be sure to subscribe for more tips and conversations as friends and I will see you guys next time. Bye! What else do we need for dinners? Um, I need processed pancakes salad. Salad? Yes. Okay, so fruit snacks. Salad. Salad. Salad and pancakes is Joshua's request. What's he gonna sing? Get. What's he gonna get? Warm and cheese. Warm and cheese? Yes. Mac and cheese? Yes. We got mac and cheese. Us are gonna get cheese. Oh, we, you, you're right. We do need more cheese. You write that down? Yes. Cheese. We need more cheese. Here we go. There we go. 